Okay, we're heading out uh, of Durban Harbour with uh, Blue Water Charters with Mike Lopesha on his boat called Fat Girl. Early morning, it's uh, 4 30 a.m. Sun's just about to stick his head over the horizon. Five o'clock, we launch out of the harbour. Very good chance we're going to get some Dorado, possibly a tuna or two. But basically, we're going to go through a whole pile of recipes, fish catching techniques. Um, probably start out with catching some live bait, which is a very underrated food source. Mackerel, mozzies, red eyes, all very edible. And then from there, we'll probably go and look for the for the Dorado. We'll see uh, with Mike, the skipper, and go from there. Let's go see what we can do today out of Durban Harbour. Uh, here in Durban Harbour at um, Wilson's Wharf um, and we're heading out with Blue Water Charters on this beautiful big boat over here um, called Fat Girl very um, very good well named but should be called Fat Boy when I get on board <laughs> here we have Mike morning 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 uh, that was Mike our skipper He's going to go put us on the fish. We're going to go out and target Dorados and uh, probably going to run into a few uh, tuna. And maybe once we're tired of catching dories, we'll do something else. We'll see. Okay, we're heading out of the harbour now. Last skipper. Hi, good morning. Wait, what are we going to be doing today, Mike? We're going to go look for some dories today. Dories have been biting. What boats are we on? Yeah. Uh, this is a Silverton 34 foot. So Bolton, America. I've had it for eight years. We did a conversion, took the inboards out and put the outboards on. Sailing into the sun. We're about to uh, exit the harbour and head out to the fishing grounds of Durban City. You can see Durban City over my shoulder, past the harbour, and then we've got the infamous Bluff. And that's Durban, the Bluff, synonymous with Durban, the Durban Harbour, and then there's all kinds of developments that have gone on around it. But uh, we're not worried about what's on land today, we're worried about what's out in the ocean. And Mike's taking us to catch some Dorado. Uh, the beautiful thing about a Dorado is that it's very uh, sustainable. It's a pelagic game fish, fast growing pelagic game fish. It has a season in our area. It comes through this time of the year, which is uh, around November. It comes in great numbers, especially after we had some rain, which we've had recently. And we have color lines developing from the dirty water meeting the clean water. And we'll hunt along those, those color lines. There are no size limits on the Dorado. But obviously, uh, use your discretion. A really big bull or, or, or female Dorado we will release. When I say really big, 20 kilos. But anything between 4 and 15 is, is fair game for a good, for a good chow. We'll uh, catch you on the water. Swinging up the shotgun. Outside. You put two out long way. Yeah, two are outside. Well, right, we got Kurt here. He's a professional Dorado caller. He's gonna give us a little Dorado call. Daddy, come, Daddy, come, Daddy. You're gonna call him. You're gonna call him. So when they got them, you got to do the Dorado dance too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know what's the secret to marlin fishing? What's the secret? You just got to play the right sound on the boat. <laughs> Ask Kurt, what's the right sound? 
Nickelback. 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 Oh, there you go. So as you can hear, some of the guys believe in uh, not taking eggs or bananas on board. These guys believe in playing music and dancing and singing. So <laughs> to catch fish. That's a, a navy frigate coming into the Devon Harbour, leaving quite a wake in its in its path. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking if you if you sit in a boat all day doing nothing, they call you a fisherman. If you sit on the couch all day doing nothing, they call you a bump. We're not doing nothing, we're fishing. Took a little line. It's working at back time. The Dorado! Nice fish. Getting very excited. That's what they call fishing. Put your hook pulled right here as we were putting the gaff. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah. And that brings our uh, Dorado hunt to an abrupt end. We're heading back into the harbour now. I think we went, what, six love, eh? Six love, uh, on offs. One bad luck at the boat here with the gaff and the uh, hook pulling. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head on home. I've got some uh, some some gearboxes and heads in the freezer, and I'm gonna cook up a, a chowder to make up for the for the lost Dorado. Just a big thank you to uh, Blue Water Charters for an amazing day on the ocean. So if you ever want a decent charter out of Durban, uh, look up bluewatercharters.co.za. We just arrived back at the at the harbour. And Naughty Girl, the other boat over there, which is part of the charter fleet, got a Dorado, which they've kindly donated a fillet to us. And uh, I'm going to take that home, and I'm going to create a little masterpiece of of fried Dorado or something, something delicious. One boat did well, one boat did badly. Maybe I'm the bad luck charm, but at least we've got a piece of Dorado to go home and uh, and feast on. Lekker. So, guys, thanks for an awesome day. All right, there we go. Back from. Uh, a very hot day out, got a bit of a sunburn. We left the harbour at, uh, at sunrise. We got back at uh, midday, actually about half past one. So it was a long day on the ocean. Uh, six bites all uh, resulted in, <laughs> in nothing being landed. Fortunately, the uh, Blue Water Charter operation had another boat out at the time and uh, the boat got a couple of Dorado, that boat. They managed to boat them and um, I managed to get a fillet off one of them. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing when you can share fish, um, nothing goes to waste, 
So we long line released most of our fish, so we can call them long line release. We released one between the motors that uh, the hooks pulled as we were trying to get it on board. And uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna, I'm gonna prepare you one of my favorite um, poached fish dishes. It works very well with Dorado, or internationally known as Mahi Mahi, or dolphin fish. And um, yeah, this recipe works exceptionally well with that. So um, it is a Mauritian recipe, um, it is poached, it's absolutely delicious so let's let's do it as we have um, some mixed herbs some smoked paprika then we have um, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and we have some juniper berries some lemon wedges and then we have some um, chopped parsley some lemon rind that's about half a lemon one red onion chopped or sliced We've got some finely chopped garlic. We've got some um, spring onions finely chopped. And then we have tomato puree that I've made. It's a homemade puree. So basically chuck the, uh, the tomatoes in boiling water, peel their skins off, and then pulse them in, in, a, um, in a food processor. Put them in the pot, cook them. Just add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then at the end you blitz it with a hand blitzer. And that comes out into a delicious homemade tomato paste and then we have the portable cooker because my wife won't let me cook in the kitchen because I'm a messy chef and we just need a thick bottom heavy duty thick bottom skillet nice and thick so it retains its heat and then just the normal plates for presentation um, some olive oil and yeah then we're set to go let's get those fillets and get them going all right so we're going to start off what i've done is i've just taken the the dorado fillet it's easy enough to fill it you can follow any of our filleting tutorials on the catch cook channel i've skinned it so those are skinless just cut them into into portions and then we're going to start with our with our cook so that's all the spices have cooked nicely as you can see and we're just going to add in that tomato puree and half the parsley and the lemon rind give it a good stir okay so you're going to leave that to simmer you're just going to put the the lid on take it down in temperature slightly okay once that uh, liquid the poaching liquid is up to heat we're going to take the fillets remember there's all the flavor in there so we don't need to actually salt or pepper the the fish and we're just going to put it into the poaching liquid just softly drop it in there i'm just going to coat the the top of the fish so that the, it can start getting the flavor into the flesh then we're going to turn the slot down slightly and we're going to put the lid on and we're going to leave that to simmer for about 10 minutes about 10 minutes now let's check it out you can see the fish has gone white it's no longer looking raw and that's popping and in the meantime i've got a pot of rice on the stove i use a basmati rice for this dish what we're going to do now is we're going to turn that fish over just gently pick it up and turn it over And then just close it again and leave that for another 10 minutes or so okay there we go we've got um, the fish in the poaching liquid i got my rice ready to go and then i'm going to plate it it's a delicious dish like i said it is a, it originates from mauritius absolutely divine as you'll see unfortunately you can't taste with, through the lens but uh, it would be good if you could we've got our basmati rice i'm just going to put some of it in the bowl now I use a bowl for this because it's quite a nice saucy meal. What we're going to do now is we're going to take some of the sauce first. I'm going to pour that over the rice. Then very carefully take out a fish, one of the fish fillets. Ah, 
How delicious does that look? And now we're just going to sprinkle some of that chopped spring onion, parsley, and then we'll finish it off with a lemon wedge. Poached Dorado, Mauritian style poached Dorado. And now, the final test, the taste. Let's get a piece of that fish there. Oh, some of the rice and the sauce. Mm, and I'll tell you, actually, you know what? I need to squeeze a lemon over it first. So squeeze a lemon over everything. And let's give it a go. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's seriously good. Wholesome food sourced from the ocean. I know exactly where all this food comes from. It's got nothing in it, nothing bad. Even the tomato, homemade, delicious. Guys, trust, trust your food, organic sources. And then if you like the video, if you want to know how to cook this meal, or if you want to know more, get on to the rest of our channel, catchcook.com, watch all our videos, give us a subscribe. Make us a comment below. Tell us what else you'd like to see. Mm. Cheers.